So today we're going to look at using this tool, which is a little tuft grabber that I put on Thingiverse. The assembly is just putting the pin through the center, and then gluing the back face of the pin on, gluing the second hand component to one of the two jaws. So you have two jaws on one side and one jaw on the other side. Then, once you've done that, these are completely straight with no, with no extra space, so you do have to bend out the two jaws a little bit to get them to fit around that center one, but I wanted it to be as tight or as loose as people wanted, so just go ahead and bend that to your desire. Also, there's three hooks here for rubber bands. These are those little uh, rubber bands that people use for weaving and stuff like that. They're very small, but just put one of those between and it forces them closed, so when you're holding a tuft, it doesn't let go of it. You can set how strong you want the rubber band there. I prefer this middle one. So we're going to be making a little objective base. Here's one that I've already made, which is four jerry cans in order with um, some textured basing material, a little rock, and the star of the show today, a pair of tufts. We're going to be doing a slightly larger base. We're going to work on this one, which is a 32 mil base, I think. This is a piece that was left over from uh, the Bailey Bridge project, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to use these three jerry cans here, which are resin also on, on Thingiverse. Same with the Bailey Bridge. And then I'm just going to use some rocks, some texture material, super glue, PVA mixed with, or actually this is wood glue mixed with water. And this is a little thing of baking soda, which I'm going to use to kick off the super glue a little bit quicker. Here's a paintbrush that I'm going to steal bristles off of. You can see where I've taken some of the bristles off already. And these are a pair of clippers that I'm going to use to clip this. You could also very easily use just a razor blade, but I find the clippers to be easier. So first things first, let's put our larger pieces on. I'm going to put this guy just like that, so I need to cut it to length. So I've done my basic structure, so now we can work on tufting. I just want these three cans, because that's really the objective. The rest of it's just scenic, uh, much in the same way that this one is. The cans are the objective, right? Fuel for pretty much anything is good. So, with our fancy new tool, I am going to... Move this to I'm going to just grab a section here, and I want to grab higher. Like, right, don't grab near the bottom, grab up high. I'm going to pull some of that out. And then I'm going to, and actually I can just leave this now, right? Because I have my rubber band holding this together. And then I can come in here and clip like that. And then I have my tuft. And then the nice thing is I can just abandon this tuft, right? I can just set this to the side and I can use it later if I want. I don't need to use it right now but we're gonna go ahead and use it. I want my tuft to come up right between these little rocks. So I'm going to fill that with super glue. I'm going to tap the base of this in my baking soda. That's just to help kick the super glue. And then I'm going to just slide that in there and set it. And the nice thing is I can just set this and leave it alone and I can let it cure. Once I've done that, I can now take this and fluff it to my content. Which I'm actually pretty happy with that. That looks pretty good. I have one errant piece. Uh, so I'm gonna go in there, cutters, and just trim that a little bit shorter. I just don't want it touching these because it's just gonna make them hard to paint. So there's one big tuft. And then I think I want a small tuft just to show that this piece of metal has been here for a long time. So I'm gonna do a shorter tuft. I'm actually gonna come and get this section right here, nice little short piece, get it pretty high up again, because if you get this too low, you'll end up gluing these pliers to whatever you're working on. Come in, cut that, and if you get this extra, you can save it or you can throw it away, it really just does not matter. Right, this is an old brush that would otherwise go in the trash. So I have my tuft again, pretty happy with that. There's a little bit sticking out of the side, but actually that might be nice for this lower piece. So 
super glue where I want. A little bit of baking soda. Tap that off. Put this down in that hole. And then let that sit. If I really wanted to align this, I could put something up under the tail of these pliers to keep that tuft straight up and down. But for most stuff, it doesn't matter. We can see that this has made a tuft, but it has not glued it to the base. So we are going to try that again. All right, actually I realize I've gotten a little bit too much on that second tuft, it's a little too dense. So I'm just gonna clip a few pieces out of it. Going to do one more. And again, just set the tuft and let it go. And then we're gonna finish basing this traditionally. I have some sand, I have a little bit of sawdust, I have some wood glue mixed with water have a paintbrush to do that, and another base if I need to paint it. Places like this where grass is growing up out of rocks, there's often material there as well, so you want to make sure that there's a little bit of your glue mix up in there. I don't like this single texture, so I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, a little bit of this material, of the, the sawdust. And even while it's wet, I like to just go right on top. And then once this is dry, go ahead and take a paintbrush and get rid of anything you don't want. But I would wait till it's dry, otherwise it's just moving around. Stuff in cases like this, where it looks like a little bit of glue got up the side. Just take a tool and slide all your dirt back down, right? Because even though that, that metal bar underneath has been there for a while, we want our, our fuel cans to look like they were, you know, left there. All right, so that's it. We've used our cool new little pliers to make doing these tufts a little bit easier and kind of give you an extra hand when you're super gluing a bunch of these in. Because I always get the super glue all over my fingers or I can't get the tufts to be straight up and down or whatnot, but I've found that these really do help me out with that.